Well, Fallon is about to be subjected to an insect problem that is going to kill the ash trees throughout the community. And this insect is called an emerald ash borer. It's a small beetle that lands on the tree, lays its eggs, and the larva feeds under the bark, and eventually the ash tree is going to die. The good part about this is the insect only feeds on ash trees, so we only need to worry about the ash trees in the community, but ash trees make up about 16 to 20 percent of the trees in the community, so one out of every five or six trees is an ash tree. So this is going to be a significant problem community-wide, so O'Fallon residents need to educate themselves on what's about to happen, what the timeline is, and what their possible options are to either save a tree or maybe replant trees now ahead of the game. The issue with the emerald ash borer will be a significant one, but the good news is residents will have time to figure out a solution. Typically, when you first determine whether or not there's emerald ash borer in the community, it's already been there for a year or two. And somewhere around year five is when it becomes significant with ash trees beginning to die. So O'Fallon currently was in year one maybe, because we just found an emerald ash borer population in the Lake St. Louis O'Fallon border. And what we're thinking is we're possibly on year three. So we have two or possibly three more years to get prepared for when the ash trees all begin to die. Residents do have options and, and with an early start like we have right now in 2014 and 2015, before this begins to be a problem about 2018 or 2019, is number one, you can look into whether or not you want to make a treatment to an ash tree in your yard. Um, now that this problem has worked its way through other communities, the protocols for doing treatment seem to have improved and we're in a situation where we can benefit from what's been learned in the last 10 years. If you go to the Missouri Department of Conservation's website or the Missouri Botanical Gardens website, they have numerous recommendations for replacement trees. And one thing I would recommend personally is don't go after the Bradford pear or the calorie pear varieties as replacement trees. There are so many in the community already that we need to spread out and diversify the species throughout the community and move away from those trees for now.